What's up, beautiful people? Thank you again for joining me on another episode of Jeffrey Gamer Tutorials. And the video is going to start right now. <laughs> All right, guys and gals, welcome back to another episode of Jeffrey Gamer Tutorials. And in this episode, we are going to, uh, it's going to be an LSPDFR tutorial. Um, and we are going to be installing Speed Radar Lite by request from Clowns Be Emerging from Bushes. He posted this request on my Discord. Um, I'm so sorry I didn't check it sooner. I think he posted it like maybe a week and a half ago. Uh, so I'm a little late to the party. Once I saw how late I was, man, I, I jumped right on it and just started making this video. So this one's for you, man. I hope it helps you. As a little bonus, whether you have it or not, uh, I will throw in the uh, ALPR light as they're both very, very, very simple plugins. And of course, we're going to have an in-game showcase to show you how it all works. Um, again, so sorry how late I was. Been super, super busy with life. Uh, I've had off from work this week. Um, and, and I will use this time to, uh, say that for the next month, I will have, uh, some time off. Um, I took a voluntary furlough from work to help my job through a financial crisis. Uh, so the job kind of asked if, um, there are any volunteers that would be willing to furlough. So I'm going to go, I, you know, I went ahead and, uh, opted to do it because I'm a team player and that's what I do, you know? So you will be seeing a lot more of me for the next upcoming month. Uh, so that's, that's, you know, it's kind of a, a love hate. I'm blessed to be able to, uh, take the month off from work and, you know, not be affected too much. So, um, yeah. So that's sidetracking. I've been super busy. Uh, clowns, this is for you, man. Let's get into it. First thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to click the Speed Radar Light link down below, and that's going to bring you to uh, Bajojo Plugins. And here it is right here. Now, I will say Bajojo is one of those modders, one of those creators that he updates his stuff very frequently, Okay which is great because we want content creators or, or code, you know, plugin creators and all that to update their stuff. Um, and his updates will always tell you in the game when you load up that, uh, that they've been updated. So when the game loads up and you see everything kind of, you know, all your plugins as they start loading into your game, his usually tell you, uh, that it's, uh, an outdated version and to go and update the version. So really all you got to do is just come back to this video because once you click the link, it's going to bring you to the updated version. So uh, you could just keep following this tutorial over and over. Um, so this is at 1.5.2.0, Speed Radar Light, And it's going to tell you everything that it has here. And you're going to go down here and click this blue link that says Main Download Link. Sometimes it takes you to a new page and it's going to. Uh, you don't have to sign up or anything like that. So... Uh, don't worry about that. I'm sure most of you are pretty familiar with uh, JoJo's mods. And you're just going to click this uh, download button right there. And for me, usually just downloads right above my toolbar. What I like to do is I like to open it, get rid of the purchase me box. And then I minimize it so it brings it right down here into the little uh, WinRAR box. We can exit out of that tab. Uh, and then the next link you are going to want to click is going to be the ALPR Lite. <clears throat> Again, it's going to bring you to uh, JoJo's plugins. Um, and this is another plugin that he updates frequently. And he fixes bugs or anytime like Ultimate Backup or any other plugin updates, he likes to update his mods right behind it. Um, but JoJo, thank you so much for everything you do for the LSPDFR community, man. Your plugins and your mods are well known throughout the community, and we're super, super lucky to have you um, be active. Uh, same thing, go down here to the main download link. It'll bring you to this page, and 
you are going to download it again. Uh, again, you could download it to your desktop, to a download folder, anywhere is where you know you can get to it. Uh, again, I like to open it, get rid of the little box, and minimize it. All right, so we are all set with our web browser. Now, folks, all you are going to need is your main directory. So go ahead and bring up your file explorer, okay? Let's just kind of open this up a little bit. Now, for those that don't know how to get to it, this is what you do. Uh, for me, uh, I have it in my C drive, and it's through Steam. Uh, not sure how to get through it through Rockstar or Epic, but, uh, you know, usually it's program files times 86. And right here, you might see, like, Rockstar games, and you can get to it that way. Uh, for Steam users, you're just going to click Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. And that's going to bring you right here to your, uh, your Common folder with all your Grand Theft Auto files in here. If you only have one file, real quick, I'm going to go over this. This is how you back it up. Left-click that file, right-click it once, copy, come down here, left-click once, right-click once, paste. Save that file. takes about 15, 20 minutes, but it'll save you hours of recovering your game if you do something wrong. Okay, guys, back up your files. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click that Grand Theft Auto, your main Grand Theft Auto, whichever one you use. Uh, whichever one just says Grand Theft Auto V, double click that. And we are now in the main directory. Here in the main directory, you're going to see your elbow, your ELS, uh, you know, all this stuff here, your mods, your plugins folder, all that other good stuff. This is your main directory, folks. Let me bring this over here just a little bit. And like I always say, stretch your, stretch your window. All right, there we go. I don't know. These these headsets shut themselves off. I don't know. I don't know why they did it. All of a sudden, I just heard it shut off. So that's kind of a... Let me just make sure that... Yeah, okay, so it's working. All right, all right. Sorry for that small inconvenience. All right, guys, so make sure you kind of stretch out your, your uh, window here because you always want this little buffer zone right here, okay? You see how these highlight, and then if you keep scrolling, it unhighlights. This is your buffer zone. This is where I like to drop my files, okay? Right here in this little buffer zone. So go ahead and go down to your WinRAR and bring up your speed radar light. Okay. And let's bring this over just a tad more. Bring this over just a tad more. Okay. So we have our window open. We're at the top of our uh, main directory. We have our WinRAR right here. Double click the speed radar light. And it's very simple. You got a plugins folder right here. You have your plugins folder right here. You're not going to take this and drag it over this and drop it, okay? Don't do that. Stay in the buffer zone. So left click it once, hold it, bring it down to right here. Make sure nothing's highlighted. Don't drop anything yet. Let me show you. If anything highlights while you're holding this file, do not let your left button go, okay? You want to drag it from here to right here. Make sure nothing's highlighted on, in your main directory. And just let it go. I'm not going to let it go because I already have it in there. And I don't want to have to redo my INI files. So just drop it right in there, guys. Let it go. And you will see your plugins box should highlight. And that will let you know that it is installed. So um, you know what? We'll put in the ALPR first. And then we'll go into the INI files. And, of course, everything is timestamped below. So if you want to skip that, you could skip that. Okay, guys. Uh, I suggest if you're doing this for the first time, definitely uh, go along with me so um, I can explain a few things to you. Now, go ahead and exit out of your Speed Radar Light WinRAR and bring up your ALPR Light WinRAR. Guys, it's going to be the exact same thing. Double click the ALPR, it's going to bring up your plugins and a README text. There's your plugins. Left click it once. Drag it to this buffer zone right here. Make sure nothing's highlighted and let that button go. Again, once you do that, your your plugins box is going to be highlighted again. And we are all set with that. So you can go ahead and exit out of that. Now, 
Let's bring this up. And what you're going to want to do to get to your INI files is you're going to want to double click plugins, double click LSPDFR, and we'll start with ALPR Lite. As you can see, there's the little sprocket. All the little sprocket means that's your INI file. Double click that. Now, in here, um, I don't know what the default toggle key is, okay? That's going to be up to you. Um, I suggest using one of your F buttons because it's super easy. For those that don't know what ALPR Lite is, it's going to be your plate reader <laughs> on your patrol car. I have mine set to F2, okay? So, uh, you know, put it wherever you want to put it. Make sure whatever F button or uh, you could always use a modifier key too. So let's say you want to put this on the K button. But we all know that K, if you have ELS, is uh, your stage two lighting. Well, if you go down here to this, and if you highlight the left shift key and put it in here instead of none, then to operate your ALPR is going to be your left shift key. You hold it in and hit the K. So it'll turn on your ALPR instead of your uh, two stage. But I like to put it in the one of the F buttons. Um, because, boom, I, I just, I hit F2 and my plate reader's on. And, uh, yeah, so whatever F key you have available, go ahead and, and set it up to that. Okay, guys? Um, and then what you want to do is you got your probability here. Uh, registration issue, insurance issue, stolen vehicle uh, owner. This means the higher the number here, the more likely that's what's going to pop up when you read a plate uh, of somebody that has that. So as you can see, owner license issue or registration issue is the highest. Um, so, but just keep in mind, if you wanted to, if you're doing a stolen vehicle task force, for me, for instance, if I do a stolen vehicle task force, I might bump this up to 25, but you have to total the value to 100. So if I bump this up to 25, I need to take five off of one. You got to make sure that whatever these numbers are, they equal up to 100, okay? As you can see, 25 and 25 is 50, plus 20, plus 20 is 90, plus 10 is 100. So make sure that adds up to 100. Um, the weight for vehicle registration issues, you can change all this stuff. I don't, I didn't change anything in here. It's kind of fine, you know, the way it is. Uh, so, and this is your camera. Uh, front left, front right, rear left, rear right. I usually leave that. That way it gets the scope of cars around you. I do wish that it had one for the front so that when you're behind a car, it'll read it, but it doesn't. Um, I also wish it could read parked cars. It doesn't read parked cars, but that would be cool to kind of patrol through a parking lot and read plates, right? So if you change anything in here, go ahead. You hit that file button, hit save, okay? And if you forget to, usually when you X out, it'll say you made changes. Do you want to save it? Just click yes. Okay. So now let's go down to uh, speed radar light. There's our little sprocket. That's the INI file. Double click that. Again, I have mine set up right here. So as you can see, I'm using a modifier key. Again, I don't know what the default is. I don't know what it says on yours. But my toggle key is my Z, and my modifier key is my left control. So I hold left control, and I hit the Z because they're right next to each other. Boom, my speed radar light turns on. Now, as you can see here, page up and page down on your keyboard will raise the threshold, or it will lower the threshold of your, uh, of your speed. So if you're on the highway and you are doing radar and you will you you know you hit page up and set it at 55 great you know but then if you want to go maybe hit uh joshua road where it's at 35 40 <laughs> um you're going to want to drop it down well you just hit page down until you see the threshold drop down um same thing uh with uh ch -ch -ch -ch. yeah you could change the mile per hour um the initial speed threshold is always going to be at 70 whenever you turn it on. 
and uh yeah it'll get the front and it'll get the rear um wait will it get the rear no it doesn't get the rear it just gets the front yeah so uh modifier threshold key page down left control you don't have to hit left control when you do that actually yes you do yes you hit left control and page up or page down and um radar mode auto front rear left home modifier key left control oh so you can do it in the rear <laughs> sorry sorry uh that was that one tickled my own funny bone i hope you laugh too because then i'll just look fucking stupid so all right whatever um okay so now here is a little trick not even a trick a tip for you guys if you have a simple trainer installed okay and you can see right here that this page up and page down adjusts the threshold man it took me like two hours to figure this out when i first installed this because it was pissing me off all right so if we're done in here again same thing make sure you go to file save it make sure everything's good good make sure you write down for alpr and for speed radar light whatever your uh whatever your toggle key is write it down so you remember what it is when you go into your game okay and you'll remember it eventually and you won't have to keep looking down at what you wrote down okay so if we are all sitting here remember that this page up and page down keys are to up to raise and lower your threshold okay so exit out of this <clears throat> real quick you want to go back to your main directory so we hit back we hit back one more time once you see this elbow comment els execute code you know we're in our main directory scroll down till you get to your trainer v there's that sprocket that's your ini file double click that now if we scroll down here Okay, I think I know why, because there's no sound coming over my computer, so I think these are thinking that they're off right now, but it keeps turning off and it's pissing me off. Uh, so if we keep scrolling down, you are going to see right here, not sure how far down it is, okay? You're going to go past the key binds, the controller, then you got these spawn keys, and once you get to like air brake, vehicle god just below vehicle god key you're going to see spawn a driver key spawn attacking driver ped default page up whenever i used when i was first installed the speed radar when i would hit page up and i would tap it a few times because if i'm at like 45 miles an hour and i want to put it up to like 65 i'm tapping it and all these red cars are spawning behind me and they start shooting at you because it's an attacking driver. Don't know why Simple Trainer put this in, but they did, okay? What you want to do is, I don't know what that's set at. I don't remember what it's set at. But all you're going to want to do is, uh, let's say Clear wanted, uh, I don't want to confuse you. Let's say it's set at 23, okay? I don't think it is, but let's say it is. All you're going to want to do is backspace and just put a zero. Whoops. Put a zero there. No spaces. So you want it to say spawn a driver key equals zero. No spaces, guys. Once you got that, whenever you hit your page up, it is not going to spawn that attacking red, that attacking convertible. It's like a red sports car. If you do want to keep that in your game, then you're going to have to go into your speed radar light and change your uh, your uh, speed threshold up button to something other than page up because if you have it on page up it's just going to be a pain in the ass all right guys so make sure you remember that and of course as you can see i uh i made a little change so i'm going to click don't save if you changed it definitely click save okay let me just make sure that that's saved because last thing i need is for those cars to be blasting me inside the 
inside the game when I'm trying to show you guys. So, uh, spawn, where is it? Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, spawn attack. Okay, it's at zero. So, we're good. We're good. We are all set here. Go ahead and click that refresh. We can exit out of our main directory. And, guys, I will see you in the game. All right, guys. So, here we are in the game. And uh, let's start off by checking out the uh, speed radar light. Now, like I said, I had mine set to control Z. So what that's going to do is that's going to bring up your radar. And as you can see, a lot of cars, they start to slow down. Now, my threshold, as you can see, down at the bottom, says T, 70 miles per hour. Now... If I hit my control and page down, that threshold is going to stop. So, this is why I said, and then you can go up with page up. Now, if I had my, if I had that thing still, uh, you know, the, the spawn attacking pad still set at page up, every time I hit page up, it'll just be going behind me, um... They would just be spawning behind me and killing me. Let me get rid of this waypoint real quick. There we go. Okay, so as you might have seen already, the cool thing about this is when you hold your control and you hit page down, we have, you know, I think the speed limit here is like 45 because it's not like fully highway yet. I'm not sure. Um, but any time a car is caught speeding, no matter what your threshold is at, no matter how much they go over that threshold, it will blip on your map the vehicle that uh, that it caught. So I think another thing it will do is it'll tell you, as you can see, it'll tell you that it's a cavalcade, brown. Um, it'll tell you the car, what color it is, and how fast they were going. Um, so that when you pull them over, you can tell them, hey, I got you going 44 and a 25 or whatever the speed limit is, whatever you have your threshold set at. Okay, so that is the speed radar light. Pretty simple. If you want to turn it off, same thing. For me, control Z. Okay, and you'll hear that little, you know, beer noise, whatever the hell it is. All right, <laughs> so uh, that's how you work that. Now, the uh, ALPR, I have mine set on. F2. So if I hit the F2 button, again, this you can go cruising or you could sit posted and it'll read the plates. Same as the speed radar. If it reads a plate, it's kind of weird to do it on the highway because it catches the cars on the other side too. And if you got this barrier here, you might not be able to turn around. So you hear it scanning all those cars. And, you know, depending on what the probability is, you know, those in the I&I &I file, when everything had to equal up to 100, um, there you go. You got a no registration. As you can see, it's the yellow car that's flashing. But by the time I go up here and turn around, that car is going to be way, yeah, see, it's gone already. So usually I will do this on, uh, well, let's, let's jump over there real quick. I don't usually run plates on the highway, okay, because it just gets... Uh, kind of tricky um so i'll run plates on you know regular roads as you're passing up cars so there you go look at that there's a stolen vehicle right there so we could turn around whoa and we know is it really a bicycle is it the bicycle that's stolen it is this is a stolen bicycle right here look at this how funny is that? That's a first. But, you know, it's a lot easier to run your plate checker on the roads or in the city, too. You don't have to be out here, you know, in Route 68 in Blaine County. You can be in Los Santos County in the city, Vinewood Hills. That person's got an outstanding warrant. It, it's pretty cool. It'll tell you what car they're driving, the plate number, everything, guys. Um, you can be posted up in a parking lot, and you could be running these plates, too. So... It's definitely, these are definitely must-have mods. I cannot remember. I've got so many tutorials out there now. I can't remember if I already did one on this. But like I said, clowns be emerging from bushes. This one's for you, man. I'm sorry I'm late to the party when it came to making this tutorial. I hope I made up for it. 
by throwing in that little extra uh, tutorial for you. Folks, that is it for this tutorial. Um, you know, as always, guys, Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files as shown in this video in case you make any mistakes. I also advise you watch the full video be before installing any mods. All right, folks, I always want to put that in there. All mods I do are always tested and tried out before I put them into your game, okay? Last thing I want to do is mess anything up for your, you know, for your gaming, all right? So I always check my mods before I pass them on to you. Um, don't forget to go check out the 5M promo. That's going to be dropping in a, in a couple of weeks, maybe two and a half weeks. Guys, it's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, check out that video. Um, if you see this car right here, I just put this into my game. I may be doing a patrol tonight with this vehicle. But I also have two other textures being made right now uh, by the same guy that made my Monument Colorado skins. And he's making me two skins right now that are for uh, my hometown police cars. They're going to be cars that are going to look like my hometown. So I'm super, super stoked to see that. But... There will be a patrol coming out uh, within the next 24 hours, so be on the lookout for that. Guys, don't forget to check out my YouTube brothers and sisters down below. Um, they all deserve it, uh, and they're absolutely awesome. And I love the community. I'm still kind of new to this community, but I absolutely love it, man. Everybody is always there for everybody, and they're, they're ready to help, and, and it's just fucking great. Don't forget, Saturday night. June 27th, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Meet the Gamers, Episode 3. Come in, meet us, ask us questions, watch us shoot the shit. It's always awesome. Okay, guys, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, follow the rules, and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamers out. Peace. One Adam Six.